Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the second class of lesson five. So today we will look at part three and four in this class. Okay. So now let's get started with 词汇 First one. First one is right here. 考试，跟我读考试，考试 ，and the meaning is test or exam. Test or exam in Chinese we say 考试 okay? 考试 Next one, 意思意思 See, the first word has a false tone, and this one has a neutral tone. Okay, so 意思意思 which is meaning, meaning, okay, 意思 Okay, next 词汇咖啡咖啡 I think for this word we can just use a direct translation in, I mean from English, which is coffee, coffee, and in Chinese 咖啡咖啡好 next one, 对对 and that means two or four. 对 Okay, the last one. 以后以后 Meaning after or later. Okay, after or later we say 以后以后 Okay, so these five words. 跟我读 The first one. 考试意思咖啡对以后 Okay, so、uh, on this page, I like to show you some phrases on some certain words. Okay, first phrase on test or exam. So now that we learned 考试 which is test, can you tell me this phrase? A Chinese test. A Chinese test. As we learned in level one class, the Chinese language we say 汉语 So a Chinese test. 汉语考试 Yeah, right here, Chinese test. 汉语考试 Okay. Next one, a phrase on meaning. A phrase on meaning, which is what is the meaning? What's the meaning? In Chinese, 什么意思什么意思 Okay, 什么 is what. 意思 is meaning. So together, what meaning? We say 什么意思 and in English it means what's the meaning. Okay, I think you really need to memorize this phrase because in the future you will see we are going to use this phrase quite a lot. Okay. All right, next phrase on this word a preposition two or four. Okay, a phrase on the preposition the first one. For me, for me. Okay, for is 对 me is. So for me, we say 对我对我 Okay, next one. Can you think of for you? For you, it's just right here. 对你对你 That means for you. Okay, for you. All right. Now about these four phrase four phrases. Let's go over this one more time. The first one, Chinese test. 汉语考试 Next one. 什么意思 ？Okay, next. 对我 ，and the last. 对你。好 ，now we move to the context. The context three in the classroom. In the classroom. So from this picture, we can tell people they are having an exam, I guess, because you can see the calculator, the pen or pencil. Everyone is focusing on their papers. So let's go through these、uh, sentences one by one. A. 今天去不去打球 Okay. 今天 which is today. 去不去 Does this look familiar to you? 去不去去 is go. 不去 is not go. So go or not. 打球打 Do you still remember the phrase 打篮球打篮球 that means to play basketball. And here, 打 as a single word, it just means play. 球球 it means ball. So 打球 we can say play ball games. Okay. So today, go or not go to play ball games. 
So we can say, do you go to play ball games today or not? Okay, B. 这两天有点累. Okay, 这, which is this, 两天, two days. 有点, a bit, 累, tired. So we can say tired or tiring, but here it has to be somebody who feels tired. Okay, who feels tired. So these days I feel a bit tired. 不去打球了, 不, negative word, which is no or not. 去, go, 打球, play ball games. So I don't, I don't go play, go play ball games. And A, next one. 你在做什么呢? Okay, here. Actually, there is a grammar point in this lesson, which is right here. 在, 在, as we learned before, 在, 意思是 on, at, or in. Okay, in English. And now, I'm going to tell you this. 在, with a verb. Verb, for example, this one. 做, 做 is a verb, and that means to make, to make, okay, or do, or do, like do something. So, 在, with a verb. In Chinese, it means present progressive tense, okay? So, 你在做什么? 什么 is what? So, basically, we can say this sentence in English is what are you doing now? What are you doing? Okay, next part. 是在想昨天的考试吗? The last word, ma, a question mark. Okay, 是 is is or am or are. So this one has to be are, okay, are. 在想, you see it comes again, 在, with the verb, 想, which means think. So 在想, which is thinking. So, are thinking 昨天, 昨天, yesterday, 的考试, test, yesterday's test. So, are you thinking about yesterday's test? And then, B, 是啊, 是啊, which is yes. 我觉得, 听和说, 还可以, you see, 还可以. This is a phrase that we learned in the last class, 还可以. Not bad. Okay. 我觉得, 觉得, I feel like, or I think. 听, 听, which is listen. 说, which is speak or say. So here, 听 and 说 are used here as nouns. So 听 changes into listening. And 说 turns into speaking. So I feel like listening and speaking are not bad. 读和写不好. 读 and 写, do is to read, 写 is to write, as, a, as nouns here, so do is reading, 写 is writing, so reading and writing, not good. 很多字, okay. 很多字, 字, 意思是汉字, in, in English it means characters, 我都不知道, 是什么意思? Okay, 不知道, don't know. 是, is, 什么意思? What meaning? So, let's take a look at this sentence again. 很多字, many characters. 我都不知道, I, all, don't know. 是什么意思? Is or are, what meaning? So we can say many characters that, that I don't know the meaning of them. Okay. 好,跟我读 今天去不去打球? 这两天有点累, 不去打球了 你在做什么呢? 是在想昨天的考试吗? 是啊,我觉得听和说还可以 读和写不好,很多字我都不知道是什么意思 Okay, so uh, this is the this is the Chinese version. Now let's take a look at the in English version. A, will you go to play the ball today? No, I won't. I've been feeling tired lately. What are you doing? Are you thinking about yesterday's test? 
Yes, I think I did okay in listening and speaking. So listening, speaking, but not in reading and writing. Reading and writing. I didn't know the meanings of many characters. Okay, so、uh, this is the text three. Now we move to the next context. Text four. In the company. In the company. So if this situation takes place in the company, these two must be the colleagues. So the lady is holding a cup. Okay, now let's take a look on the sentence. A, 休息一下吧。吧 used at the end to indicate a suggestion, and this is and this is a word that we learned in the last class too. Okay, 一下 it's used after a verb to indicate a short action, but when we translate the sentence, so for this. For this 词汇一下 we can just omit it when we translate it. Okay, 休息 which is to rest or to take a rest. 喝咖啡吗？喝 drink 咖啡 coffee 吗 question mark So you drink coffee. B 不喝了不 negative word 喝 drink So I don't drink. 我已经喝两杯了 So in this sentence. 已经 I hope you still memorize this one. 已经 already. 喝两杯了两 which is number two. 杯 cup. So I have already had two cups. And A, 是啊 which means the speaker agrees. 是啊 yes. 咖啡喝多了对身体不好 Okay. 咖啡 coffee. 喝多 drink. 多 which is much or many, so drinking too much coffee, 对身体不好 Okay, 对 something or 对 somebody. Do you still remember the phrases that I showed you? 对我 that means for me, and 对你 that means for you. And now this one changes into 对身体 that means for body. So for body, 不好 not good. So drinking too much coffee is not good for your body. And B, 以后以后我少喝一点儿一点儿 a little. 少 you see here, 多 mean means much or many. So 少 means less. Okay. So 以后 that's the new word for today. 以后 in the future or later, 我少喝 drink less 一点儿 a little. So which means in the future I'll just drink less. 每天每天 every day, 喝一杯，一杯 one cup, drink one cup every day. 好 this is a text four. So for the、uh, Chinese version, 跟我读，休息一下吧。喝咖啡吗？不喝了，我已经喝两杯了。是啊。咖啡喝多了对身体不好。以后我少喝一点儿，每天喝一杯。Okay, now we can take a look at the English version. A, let's take a rest. Would you like some coffee? No thanks. I've already had two cups. Right, too much coffee is bad for your health. For our health. And B, I'll drink less coffee, one cup a day. 好 ，so、uh, this is、um, actually all the stuff that we learned today. So in the next class, we will focus on the grammar points. So I guess now it's time to say goodbye.